Hello, wrestling fans, and welcome back to 10 Count. I'm Steve Fall, but on today's edition, I am talking to two members of the Apple TV Plus series, Monster Factory. It's Danny Cage, Notorious Mimi. How you doing today? Love and life. What's up? Love and life. That's the best answer there could be. And then the interview's over, folks. Have a great day. <laughs> no, but seriously, this is exciting for so many people, not just wrestling fans, not just people who are interested in Apple TV Plus, but just in general. This is a great concept, showing people achieving their dreams, trying as hard as they can to possibly make it. And of course, the tagline would be spandex clad performers escape the confines of everyday life, trying to achieve a dream of a professional wrestler. Now, how exciting is this for both of you? Because again, you're stars of the series, but yet this is showing the process and the hard work that gets you to the end goal, which is a dream. Yeah, this is this is the type of show I wanted to have as a kid to watch because I knew what I was watching on TV. I wanted to see all the stuff. I wanted to know what it went into. Like we see all the time about football movies, shows the training and the real stuff and the real conversation and the agents and all this other stuff and the, the trials and tribulations and you never see that in wrestling it's always scripted stuff and it's always made up stuff and they try to do an angle and a work and a shoot and all this stuff and i'm just glad that like apple tv plus was just like on board with the whole idea of like no it's going to be real and here it is we're going to show the journey the struggles we're going to throw it all out there and be honest with everybody and I'm 49 years old and it was not so terrifying for me, but I would think if I was 19 or 20 or in my early twenties, I would be terrified at this. So like Mimi and all the rest hats off to you because it's, it's a tough, it's tough out there. And, and I think we all grew going through this together. So Mimi, you, you say what it was about. Cause I mean, you, you got, you went through some stuff. I mean, I was really excited to be able to do something like this because as he was saying, there's really not that much wrestling content like this that goes behind the scenes. But something I did love watching like growing up and when I first started getting into wrestling was Breaking Ground, which was like the yeah. only WWE show they have that kind of like actually focuses on the training process. But I think it's almost like even more raw than that because it's going into people who haven't made it there yet, people who are just really starting like learning how to wrestle and understanding what they need to do to make it to the next level. And it was definitely scary having to share a part of my life where I really didn't know what was going to happen next at any given moment, but I'm really proud of how everything turned out. Well, plus Monster Factory 2 is a wrestling school, you know, in Jersey. And the thing is, there are schools everywhere. And the fact that Apple TV Plus is like, we're going to use Monster Factory because the alumni here is outstanding. Current talent, QT Marshall, Matt Riddle, Sheamus, Damian Priest, go to the past, Bam Bam Bigelow. These are not, you know, nobodies. These are household names are connected forever to Monster Factory. So, Danny, how exciting. I know you took over the brand in about 2011. So how exciting for you is to see your baby showcase in such a manner on well, Apple TV Plus. This is the, I think this is the greatest part of how this all came to be. They had no clue about the Monster Factory. This was all by chance. The crew, Will Krause and all those guys, they from public records, TV and Vox Media contacted us about in 2015 just to make a reel to show what they could do production wise. And then it caught ground and caught ground and got some more traction. And then people got on board and it wasn't shot till to Apple until about 2019 or so. Wow. And it was right before the pandemic. So yeah, they didn't even like they, you can find it. There's a short out there on Vimeo called Monster Factory. Like Damian Priest is in it and stuff like that, and Nick Camarado, but they had no clue who they were. They didn't even know what the Monster Factory was until we just became better and better friends. And I'm just glad we went through all this because, like, they knew all about me and the students before we even started shooting this. It wasn't everybody just walking on the set going, "All right, what are we getting into?" <laughs> so it was. It was really. It was. I'm glad it worked out this way. But yeah. it's it's so unbelievable because like. These are the people I grew up watching, you know, the the people that Larry trained prior to me. And they're the people that I was 
you know, so interested. And that's why I had to go train at the Monster Factory. And then I was training side by side with Damian Priest and QT and Seamus. And then I buy the school. And then I got all these other new students coming in with Preston Vance and, you know, Riddle and Camarado and all this stuff. And of course, Mimi and Goldie and all this. And then the show, I mean, it's, you couldn't ask for more. I, I still can't believe this is real. I, I, I can't. Okay. That's that's outstanding. And then with Mimi, especially with you, a lot of documentaries, people are filmed in a light that sometimes they don't realize they're being filmed in. So when you see a final product showcasing your ups and downs, how do you feel about this? Are you thinking to yourself, well, I wish they showed me smiling more or oh, I wish they showed me not crying so much or, or being <laughs> injured. How do you feel about this? Because this is not an invasion of privacy. This is showcasing you 24-7 in the light that you don't realize people can see you in. I mean, it, it was definitely there's some things where you go, oh, do I really like that in that moment? <laughs> but for the most part, I think it's nice that it was something that was really honest. And for me, what it mostly showcases is just me being really, really nervous mm. because I was like at a level that I hadn't been to before and I was doing things I hadn't done before. So I, I don't think I was like mean or rude. It was nice to be able to look back on how I was the whole time. I think I was just freaking like nervous and panicking and not sure what I was doing or what I was getting into. But there's definitely like a few moments where I'm like, damn, I'm just out of it here because I'm like sitting in the corner like, ah, uh, I can't believe this is happening. What are we going to do tomorrow? Like, but I, I mean, I think it's nice that something like that is out there for people because I don't think everything that's on television should be glamorized. I think people should have realistic expectations of what they're getting into with a job or with, you know, anything. Yeah. Life is not a filter. And I think people yeah. believe, uh, you know, I, I can make myself look prettier if I wanted to with a nice filter. But uh, I think we're, <laughs> I think we're all three of us are doing pretty good right now in the face department. So but with the show Monster Factory, again, on Apple TV Plus, um, Danny, actually, both of you, do you think that we're going to see too many uh, pull the rabbit out of the hat? We're going to see how the magic is created or is there is there a part of this where we're not going to see all that? Uh, so you haven't seen it yet? I have yeah. seen one episode, the first right. one, and I and All the right. rest. I didn't want to spoil the rest for myself. Right. I wanted so, to like keep so, it spread out. So here's 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 my take on uh, showing the business. I want everybody to know everything about the wrestling business because it's silly that they don't. It's stupid that they don't. It costs people money. It costs us business trying to hold it in like this because the Oscars were last night. All those people were watching all those movies. Everyone knows it's not real. Right. They they said, here's the director. Here's the writer. That isn't really him. That's not really Brendan Fraser in that costume. And it still made billions and billions of dollars. Everybody loves it. I've seen many makings of the movie. It didn't make me go, I'm not watching that. We all know how the Titanic was going to end. The boat sinks. We still watch it. What? I know, right? Wait a minute. What if we no. haven't gotten around to watching the Titanic? <laughs> what happened <laughs> to Jack? Is Jack okay? Something about a door or something, but I'm Spoilers. just saying. Spoilers. There was no for both of but them. But I'm just saying, yes. like, I don't care about exposing the business because when I was coaching these kids back in 2011, I was putting out on social media our training and showing it. I had people saying, you shouldn't do that. You're exposing the business. And then they saw how successful we were. And then all of a sudden, all those wrestling schools started sharing their training, too. So I hope more wrestling shows are like this one. It's real. It's not ridiculous. It doesn't treat fans like you're, you know, like they're kids. It's it's a real show about real things. And that's refreshing in pro wrestling. Now, Mimi, how do you feel about that as well? Because I, I'm, you make a really good point, Danny. Where people will be like, you know, wrestling's fake, right? And then, and then you'd hear that argument, or and it's like, oh, I'm sorry, was that dragon in that show real? Was uh, Iron Man flying around real? No. <laughs> Did you enjoy it? Did it bring you to a place that wasn't where you were at the time? Yes. Okay. Then zip it up because wrestling is a different art. It is so yes, real but, that it hits but, both ends. But this is why, though. Because wrestling never goes out and just says, yes, we know. Right. They're always trying to hide it. Movies are not trying to hide it. Nobody tried to tell you that Arnold Schwarzenegger was really from the future. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. No one said that's the real Terminator. And that guy is really, the T-2000 is liquid metal. 
pro wrestling keeps on saying it over and over again that it's real. That's why people have to constantly say, I'm not falling for that. It's fake. Right. So and, yeah, sorry. I yeah, no, no, it's all okay. I, I appreciate it because there's clearly passion in your voice and I, I and you've you're running a wrestling school, so you're deep into this <laughs> world. So you're not you're not just like an outsider being like, Well, I believe this is the reason why <laughs> wrestling should be treated this way. But Mimi, back to you though about that situation. How do you feel when someone goes up to you and says that to you? Like, do you, you're obviously, you know, it's not like you're being body slammed with strings. You're, you you know, you're being body slammed. Like, how does this feel? The connection of someone saying it's too real, it's too fake. I mean, I think that anyone calling it fake will never offend me. All I ever say is, I'm like, well, when I land, it's real. Like, I'm not a cartoon character. I'm still actually me. Like, the things you're seeing are not animated. They are us literally moving around. But it's just a live action movie, is what I tell people. It's like, yes, we plan the scenes. Yes, it's meant to tell a story. You wouldn't like it as much if it wasn't scripted. Like, I don't want to watch honestly like a lot of real fighting because I think part of the sweetness in wrestling is you know that it's there to tell a story I think that part of what's enjoyable about it is like especially in shows like this you get to see the real friendships that people have behind the scenes and I think that pulling back the curtain is something that's necessary especially for shows like this but really in general because wrestling is you know the nature of our business is it's meant to look like mean and cruel and scary and all this and the feuds are so intense but I think it's really eye-opening for a lot of people to see just how we work together it's really like pairs ice skating is what I always say like it's it's a team sport you're trusting the other person with your life all the time yeah yep and especially in this Apple TV Plus series, Monster Factory, I think it opens the door for a lot of inspiring talent out there who think they have roadblocks in their minds. Like, well, I can't do this. I, I have an everyday work. I, I have a children. I have a wife. I have a husband. This is clearly inspiring others to join into the fun. Uh, do you agree that this show is going to bring in more people who say, you know what? Stop putting up roadblocks and I'm going to push forward and follow my dream. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping. I'm hoping that what we run into is – people are just coming out of the woodwork, coming out of the woodwork, and they just want to... I always say, like, I, I, I'll i never understand, because, like, my dream has always been just to do wrestling. Like, from age 10, I knew that's what it was going to be. And that's been laser-focused. But I, when I got injured and I still couldn't do it, I still got to wrestle a little bit. And I was like, well, I guess I'll just have to call it quits and that's it. But then, like, it still made me want to get involved with wrestling. It still made me want to go writing and try to do another way to get into pro wrestling. And now I'm coaching. And I couldn't imagine just being like, well, this dream's too crazy. I'm not going to do it. Right. So, like, those that are, like, thinking that, like, don't, man. Like, all those insecurities you're feeling, everybody's going through it. You got to push through it. You're not alone. Everybody's going through this stuff. It's, it's especially, like, look at Mimi. She started here at age 14. 14 i have a 15 and a 13 year old girl two two girls right now 15 and 13 i could not imagine them doing what she was doing i couldn't and that was her pushing through that and hats off to you girl Man. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> i'll say so mimi you think uh, this this new series on apple tv plus is going to inspire others to come out of the woodwork and join into the fun of professional wrestling Honestly, what I hope it does is it encourages people that think that maybe it's too unrealistic or like they can't get to that top level to do it anyway, because I think that this show really shows off that there's more to pro wrestling than just making it like th the best part of pro wrestling is just enjoying your everyday training, your your matches that you have on the independence like you don't have to make it to a TV company to have a good career in pro wrestling or to have a fulfilling experience. Like if this is something you've dreamed of, do it to the best of your ability. Don't just not do it because you don't think you can make it to the top level. If you don't make it there, then so be it, but just enjoy the journey. It's well worth it regardless of how far you get. Yeah, the journey is always the the fun part, and sometimes yeah. we get to the end, but the, guess what? The journey is the joyous part of it all. Mm -hmm. But I got to say, it has been so much fun talking to Danny Cage, Notorious Mimi, about the Apple TV Plus series, Monster Factory, about following your dreams. Don't let the real world affect your dreams. Keep on pushing. And I got to say, it's been a pleasure talking to you both. I've been Steve Fall. They're amazing. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.